Okay. Hello. It's me, Eli. I'm making a video today because I got this in the mail. Uh, my package uh, that should have Scatter Nexus in it. Um, the, the proof uh, before they allow me to print the, you know, large quantity. They say that I have to ship a, one version to myself, make sure I do like it before they go through the trouble of printing all of them. All right, so biggest thing in the box is uh, the Scatter Nexus big box, which is, came out pretty good. Pretty nice. Let's see, we got of the back. This is technically front. This is the top. Uh, so you can tell there's a little misalignment here. This should be a little bit further back that way. You can kind of tell that it's a little off center on the top, but there's like a certain amount of a deviation that you kind of expect with printers like this. And uh, even with that, I still really like it. So I'm gonna give that a go. That's a, uh, huh. I'm trying to figure out if I should open them up and try to put everything in because I d didn't just get this box. Like this is just an empty box. There's nothing inside of it. Uh, there should be some copies of the game in here. So let's see what we get first. Just reaching in. First we get, okay. Uh, Set two. So this is the, uh, I called it the Comic Calamity block. Pretty good. Nice. And I was worried that the cards wouldn't fill out the package enough, but it looks like they, they this feels pretty tight. It's pretty much all in there. So that has six factions, uh, a rule book, and then we got nice set one, which is pretty good. Same feel. They're right. They're exactly identical as far as components. Um, they both have, you know, uh, tuck boxes with, um, I believe it's like 68 cards in them. And these boxes should hold 70, so pretty good. Oh, I also have a cat next to me sniffing around. Okay, and I think the only other thing in there, because the uh, game mats I'm actually getting from mousepads.com, that's a whole different distributor. And they, they admittedly they're just a bit cheaper than uh, the Game Crafter. Uh, but they're still really cool mats. Um, and then we got a, yeah, our booster pack for Epic Chaos. This is the first time I'm seeing this product, so I want to open this up and kind of see what it's about. Talking to the comic creator, um, they wanted some changes to this, so this is probably something that's going to be, um, I'm pro with these, if these all pass, I'm going to put that order in and just get that out to everyone. And then this is something that might have to come a little bit later. Luckily, it's the smallest thing. Um, I went with a paper envelope rather than a plastic envelope <laughs> just because um, that it's just easier and I think a little bit better for the environment. And it should just have uh, 10 cards in it. The print came out a little darker than I was hoping, but that's something I can fix. Uh, feels pretty good. All right, let's see how the cards came out. Pretty good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, looks like all the cards. That one's the title card, perfect. And all of them are uh, UV coated linen finish. Yeah, they came out well. All the cards should be the same type of print, so. Uh, I like these. Just seeing if any of them are like offset. Of course I put, you know, a uh, margin on all of them. So they have a little bit of a black or white border. And yeah, they came out pretty consistent. Yeah, I don't see any uh, deviation with these, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, let's do a bigger test. Let's uh, go with uh, set, let's start with set one. They came first, right? They're in this little plastic wrap, which is good. That should help against the elements. It's uh, raining a lot where I'm at right now. So that was also something I was worried about. Luckily they put them in my mailbox. I thought they were gonna bring it to my doorstep. Uh, but yeah, that was one of my concerns. All right, so plastic comes off easy enough. Let's see, it's almost bulging out of this, which is good. Makes me feel good about it. Let's see, right, let's open up the tab. Nice, pretty smooth. Box feels pretty good quality. Yeah, I like this box. Yeah, I was actually really worried that I'd hate the box, but I like this one. And so it has this 
element and then this tab can op open up a little bit more allowing you to just literally pick up the cards out of it so that's good um one thing they said is that they won't be able to organize my cards i put them in an order so that you can just pick out the factions but they randomize them i don't i don't know why whatever it doesn't that's not too important but we're able to fit the cards and this little rule book that's it i did want i i do want to make a larger rule book i said this just will get you up and running and does explain the game. Nice, but not bad, came out all right. Uh, yeah, for a tiny little rule book, I think this is uh, really good looking. Let's see, let me just take a quick look. I was worried about these being uh, offset because there's so many of them, uh, especially because I'm gonna be, you know, printing uh, quite a few. I just wanted to make sure that the borders are about where I want them to be. And yeah, everything seems online. Okay, some of them, like this one's a little high on the top. That border is a little uh, thinner than I want it to be. But that's it. Uh, that's why they have safety areas. Uh, when you're printing these things, they have a bleed, which is just like, hey, our cutters might move up and down left to right a little bit. So, um, make sure you keep things in the safe area which just says like hey regardless of how much we move uh these you know this information will still be safe and yeah i think they all came out really well uh, i'm so excited to have these new versions that are just like kind of updated okay so uh i think it gets passed i'm of course gonna go through a more thorough check on my own time uh but yeah let's uh, open up set two Take a look at that. Nice. I'm getting better at this opening thing. All right. And as I said, it should be pretty much identical. Of course, the cards are different, but it has should have the exact same amount of cards. You should have a rule book. Oh, a different rule book. That was something I thought was cute. I just, uh, the, although the rule books are almost the exact same, they just talk about different comics because as I said, they have different comics in them. But I did different art for the different uh, rule books. So. I it felt worthwhile. I was thinking about just using the set two rule book because it's the most recent, but I just updated the old one and it's fine. Uh, quick look at these. Looking pretty good. The only thing I'm noticing is that they're cold, but that's just because it's freaking, they're outside in the cold all day uh, in the cold mailbox. I really like these. Yeah, this is fun. It's a weird, uh, being so close to being done with the game. Uh, yeah, finished editing, got the print. These, I think these are great. Uh, man, all right, so the, the trick is uh, don't just immediately run out and put an order in. I should thoroughly look over these before I give the green light because I said, if it uh, turns out something's wrong, I'm gonna really kick myself. All right, and then this is the big collector's box. Um, it's bigger than you need but it's because I, so I plan on releasing a lot of factions. Uh, goal is to release uh, 90. So this can hold um, 300. Oh, I think it's actually closer to 600 cards. Eh? Eh, I'll have to do the math again. But let's see, let's open this up. Okay. Nice box, feels good. Mm, feels really good. I really like this box. Uh, good choice, Eli. Uh, lid comes off nice and easy. It smells like cardboard, which is, that's what you want. Let's see. Got some packs in there. Got cardboard in there. Some paper. Oh, I forgot about this part, actually. It's, it's good. Um, glad, glad I'm doing this video. Um, so, the inside, I put... Uh, dividers so that you can easily navigate you know so when you put your cards away you can um, keep them organized so let's see how these came out I try to keep these simple because I said they're just dividers uh, but they have uh, art for the comic I put a little uh, uh, light in the opacity so it's a little bit more transparent uh, I put the title and then the factions that it is so that way like, even if you don't know the comics, you can still check the factions. 
So let's see, what did I, I remember doing something weird with these. I got one, two, three. So there are 13 factions that I just showed you. There's six in set one, six in set two, and then Epic Chaos is the bonus. So that's 13, so one, two, three. There's 15 of these. Two reasons. One was they, that's like, a whole sheet is 15. So if you do 15, then like that, you, you don't waste anything. Um, and there are also, I wanted to make room for a couple of future factions that are kind of on the docket. So we have Epic Chaos, which is, is the promo faction. Although I do think this logo is outdated now. I just got word from the creator that they did a little bit of a rebranding. That kind of sucks, but that's yeah, fine. Gotta try to make sure you, uh, you know, gotta respect the creators. And then we have a uh, Lucha Mystery, which is an uh, uh, action mystery faction that's going to be coming soon. That's also going to be a promo faction. And then I also have uh, Shadow Hunters, which is another promo faction from one of the creators over at Scattered Comics over in Sacramento, California. So being able to fit those three, to be honest, these three factions that are added in here as bonuses, those are uh, good friends of mine uh, from when I was on the con scene a lot more frequent. So... I'm glad to have them in there. Uh, but uh, that's it. I really like this. This is really cool. You know, it's weird when you're creating something and you're like worried that the quality is gonna be up to snuff, but that's it. I think the Game Crafter knocked it out of the park. Uh, so I'm gonna put these in a box and then I'll organize things. And I think I'll show you that when it's all together and pretty. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.